Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury from the Archie Luxury channel, the Paul Pluter channel, and Archie Luxury Corporate. Guys, keep watching, keep watching. I need the viewers. I need the viewers, I need the subs, I need it. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Tell your friends, whether you like them or hate them. Just tell them anyhow. Archie Luxury on YouTube. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, Archie Luxury corporate, Paul Pluter channel. Guys, I'm making this video here about the French movie, The Intruder. It's a 2004 French movie. Uh, in French, it's El Intrus, El Intrus, El Intrus. Uh, translate as The Intruder, it's a French drama film directed by Claire Dennis. Quick wristwatch check, I'm wearing my Patek 5196. Uh, it's a real art house sort of movie and my French, I, I, I don't speak languages, I'm lazy. I was lazy. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty, the, the movie is the story of this ex-mercenary living in the Jura Mountains. Jura Mountains is in, where's that? That's in Switzerland and France, isn't it? The border, the border to subalpine mountain range, short distance north of the Western Alps. Uh, okay, on the Swiss, French Swiss border. So this guy's got, he's an ex-mercenary, he's got a heart condition. He abandons his house, his dogs and estranged son in pursuit of a black market heart transplant in Korea before traveling to Tahiti where he spent his, his time in his youth. He hopes to reconnect with his son. Now, this is very dramatic. So it's life, death, the meaning of life, all that kind of stuff whirled in. Now, the reason I was interested in this movie is one reason. He goes into a Patek boutique or dealer. It doesn't really show you much. And he buys a 5127. It's got the, it's an early one. I dare say it would have the 57 dots, not the 60 dots. Uh, with a 315 movement, because she actually mentions it's a 315 movement in the, the movie. And... It's an interesting thing. I don't think he really respects this watch. In another scene, he takes his watch off and puts it next to the side table. I always put down a, a, a tea towel. I always put down a tea towel and put my, my watches on top of that. I didn't just put them on the glass. You know, you got to scratch it. Scratch it to panic. Um, yeah, even I even do that for Rolex as sports watches. So there you go. This, this movie features the... Um, 5127. I spent ages trying to track this clip down because it's a French movie. It's art house. It was never that successful. It's not big blockbuster, but it features a 5127. 5127R. I think it's a rose gold one he gets. Or a yellow gold one? I'm not sure. But anyhow, look, the thing is this. He gets a 5127. I'm going to live with that there. He, he gets it. And it, it, it's, it's the whole thing about the movie is he's trying to show what things do you really want in life. So a dream to have a Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe is a very good dream. Um, he's coming to the end. He's coming to the end. The Patek Philippe. Um, it's a grand classic from Patek Philippe. The, uh, the, the watch itself there. So, you know, it's one of these things. What sort of things would you, what would you like to see? Let's go and take a look at the clip. Let's take a look at the clip and we'll come back. Moi, j'aime bien celle-là. Alors, celle-ci, elle est beaucoup plus contemporaine. Elle a des aiguilles dauphines et puis des index obus qui nous permettent d'apposer le poisson de Genève, ouais. qui est un label de qualité. Vous voyez la masse oscillante, qui est en or 21 carats. Et puis l'intérêt de cette montre, c'est de pouvoir apprécier la beauté du mouvement, qui est un calibre automatique 315. Mm -hmm. Voilà. Elle vous va bien. Oui. Il n'y a plus qu'à la payer. <rire>
So there you have it. Old guy walks into a paddock boutique uh, and buys a 5127 and uh, lives happily ever after. Well, after that he goes and gets a black market heart and lives happily ever after or something like that. Uh, don't you have that? No, don't you need to take those anti-rejection pills? If you get a heart transplant, don't you need to, the organ the body rejects? Don't you have to? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's not. It's not. I'm not. I'm not a surgeon. But anyhow, it's an interesting type of uh, movie. Interesting movie. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. I suppose if you spoke French, you could understand it. It's a bit arty farty. You know. <laughs> you know. So I don't really get it. I don't get what this movie's about. But I got to tell you, it's a big step to get a Patek Philippe. That's a Lifetime Achievement Award. And it's funny. You know, what, what, what would you get? What would you get if you were coming to the end? What do you want? What do you want? Grand Classique from Patek Philippe. I don't think you could go wrong with a, a paddock. Um, yeah, that's the kind of watch I suppose I would, would really be, be lusting, yearning for a Grand Classique from Patek Philippe. That's, that's the brand. That's the brand that I'm, I'm, I'm I love that brand. Um, you know, when you're coming to the end, what do you hope to have there? Is it, do you, do you move away from steel sports? This movie came out in 2004. So this guy here, uh, you know, he he would have he would have he would have uh, his prime days would have been sixties, you know, seventies. It's kind of the the genre he would have. So it's it's a it's a very interesting thing. What what wristwatch would you like to? Um, you know, when 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 we're coming to the end, when when the end is near, what would you what would you buy? Five one two seven, I think, is a perfect perfect timepiece. It's got a screw down crown because he was a mercenary. It's precious metal. It's a Patek Philippe, for God's sake. I mean, you're going to meet Jesus. You might as well be wearing a Patek Philippe. Um, and it's 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 interesting. Automatic, Patek, big rotor. So the rooted rotor wouldn't apply. Rooted micro rotor. The rooted rotor, it would have the big rotor. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it's quite interesting. Quite interesting. Patek Philippe features. Um, when you're coming to the end, there, what do you want to have? Steel Sports, Steel Sports, Daytona, Daytona, or you want to have a Patek on your wrist? I I quite like my my Grand Classic from Patek Philippe. Interesting thing there. What would you get? What would you get? You're coming to the end. What do you want there? I mean, a day date, my old man. I um my uh, my father he he kind of he has a steel date just a sixteen two three four that's the steel with the white gold bezel thirty six mil and his dream watch is a day date yellow gold day date and I kind of said to him hey dad uh the way you treat your watch if you did that with gold it would fall to bits you can't just clean the pool mow the grass and wear it. Uh, you shouldn't really be doing that with your date just, but <clears throat> if you had gold, solid gold, it would even fall to bits. It would even get more damage. So I, he, and he wears one of these stupid, you know, those, those, they, he kind of has one of these stupid uh, bracelets, supposed to be a health bracelet. It's just mumbo jumbo bullshit, but it, you can be sure it scratches the shit out of his date just. Um... So I don't think he really kind of respects the luxury goods to get a, a day date. I kind of said, don't do it. Don't do it, Dad. Just stay with the steel date just. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, he's off a different era. He's off a different era. So, yeah, that's kind of that's the way it goes. So um, what what's your exit watch? Exit watch. I mean, a paddock, a 5127 is a great exit watch. Great exit watch. Uh, I've got two of them <laughs> trying to get rid of one at the moment. It's at Vintage Watch Co. It's Ronnie at Vintage Watch Co. has it. So, uh, yeah, what is your exit watch, baby? What's your exit watch? Tell me what you think. What would you, what do you really want to have when you're, before you get the illegal, 
the uh, the black market heart operation, what wristwatch would you get? I'm Archie Luxury. Comments below and see you in the next one. Hi guys, Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.